Thank you, Mr. Stringer. Uh, thank you for your stu stewardship of this meeting uh, and the first uh, hybrid meeting in Westminster Hall. Um, I think this is a very important issue uh, and a critical issue uh, that we're addressing. This is the largest trades dispute in the world at the moment. Uh, this is not just about people being able to have the, uh, a deal to be able to survive. This is about their livelihoods. There have been huge numbers of uh, farmers that have committed suicide. There are small shareholdings uh, up to uh, five uh, acres who would suffer hugely under this law change. This law change is not about looking after the welfare of the farmers in India. In large, one of the most downtrodden communities across the whole of the Indian uh, culture at the moment, because the work that they do, the work that they do with their hands, the way that whole of the family has to be involved to raise this. For the Indian government then, when they seek for a peaceful change to the legislation that India has taken and the abuses that they have delivered to these people, initial lati charges, which was the charges by the police with batons of wood uh, and hitting elderly people in the process, women in the process, not seeing who was there. By and large, predominantly all of the farmers themselves have been peaceful. There have been other individuals from outside the movement who tried to instigate violence. That has been condemned by the farmers union. This is about their livelihood. This is not to be treated in a way that disregards all of their issues that they wish to raise raise within parliament. This dispute could have been finished quite easy, not a hundred days that it's gone on for now. Government has to listen. The government chose not to listen. The government should be working with these poor farmers. They have chosen not to do so. They have taken a belligerent attitude towards this community, the community that provides the crops for the whole of India. The community that actually puts their livelihoods supporting the people that eat uh, across and some of the people in most impoverished people in India can get support through this but the, by the agriculture and the work that these people do so India uh, government hasn't order uh, order